What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to pack for three weeks using one bag. And right here, there's our little bag. We got a High Sierra Tech travel bag, I believe is what it's called. And the thing is really actually compatible with anything. It's better than a suitcase in my opinion. And what I love most about this bag is that all the pockets it has. When I first bought this bag initially, I was really looking for something that would hold up and really fit all my traveling needs. And what I love most about it is it has all these different kinds of hidden pockets in it. All right guys, so here we have all the stuff that we need to fit into our backpack. Um, I'm gonna go through a few of the items and just tell you a little bit more about why they're going into the bag. So every trip is different for every individual. For example, the colors and the things that you may wear in Africa might not be the same as what you'll wear to Paris. So before I go anywhere, I always, always research the place that I'm about to go and what people should be wearing. So I'm going to Tanzania for a service trip. And one of the things that you are never supposed to wear is any dark colors such as black or blue. That's why in most pictures you see the khaki colors, the army green colors, white, stuff like that. So I actually got all of this just for this trip to Africa. And I went to a army navy supply store so I got everything for super cheap such as these shirts. Kind of army green colored shirt right here. Just a standard t-shirt and I got it a few sizes bigger than what I normally wear due to the fact that since Tanzania is a Muslim country they do not like tight clothing so that's why you always want to make sure you research because in America we like our tight clothing and then for my other shirt I just got the same build same shirt just in a light khaki colorway so that's it for these and then moving on, I have some different kinds of shirts. These are collared shirts that I got from Columbia, North Face, and then this one's just from H&M that I thought was a little more dressier than the most. Um, so that's about that. These are very, very interesting material. What I like about these is that it's very thin, very light and airy, so I won't get hot standing in the sun all day. And then this one's very, very nice. It's very nice cut. And then, of course, I brought a swimsuit because apparently during my trip, we're going to be going on a little swim in the lake. So that's easy fit. And then the pants. The pants are always the hardest to pack, in my opinion. So these are just H&M. No, these are Gap pants that I got. And I didn't like the way they fit me for everyday wear. So I decided, hey, it's a nice colorway. Might as well just take them to Africa. Then I got these, which is kind of a, like a jogger build, but they're still very, very flux in the material, which I like a lot. And then for my last pair of pants, let me get all this, we got just a, your standard khaki pant, also from H&M. And so this right here is going to do it for the clothes, actually. Um, other than that, I just got a belt. Oh, wait, forgot one more white tee. It's just a v-neck. Then I got this um, scarf, which is for the safari, actually, so dust doesn't get into your face. Um, I'm going to be definitely taking this out of the packaging. It's just a light scarf. Um, so that's it for clothing. What I think is most important about traveling is not overpacking. I would actually rather underpack than overpack. When I was in Paris, I specifically and purposely left clothes there because I didn't want to bring them back and they just were not of use to me here. So as you'll notice, I only have about four shirts, three pairs of pants, four or five shirts, three pairs of pants, and a belt. And then I have some hiking boots I'm going to be wearing as well as just a pair of jeans to the airport. So that's basically all the clothes. Um, as a traveler, one of the things that you want to make sure of is that you're bringing only what's necessary. You're not moving to this country. You're just going to be visiting for a few weeks. So especially in Africa, um, it's going to be a bit harder to find a little laundromat. Or I read that the place I'm staying at, they have people who will actually do your laundry for you. So I have no problem wearing a shirt uh, for one or two days and then a pair of pants for a few more days. Like, 
when you're in Africa specifically, you, let's be honest here, you're not going to be as clean as you are here where you can just swap out your pair of pants whenever you want. So that's why I would suggest just keeping it to the basics. Make sure you have colors that go with both tops and bottoms. Stick to very neutral colors and you should be good. All right, so next for my trip, of course, got my little passport. Of course, I got my little yellow fever certificate. So that's very important to have. You cannot get into the country without required vaccinations, which brings me to our next essential, which is our little pill bottles right here. This is for malaria. This is for traveler's diarrhea, just in case. Then I have some Repel, 40% DEET. This is very important, the DEET. And this repels mosquitoes that will bite you through your clothing. And it's just a lotion that you put on every day, not, nothing too fancy, cost me like five bucks at the store. And of course I have some sunscreen, um, water resistant, zinc oxide, nothing too fancy here, has a good SPF. And then, my one of my top useful items here is actually this money belt. When I was in Paris, this thing was so useful. In Paris, if you don't know, there's a lot, a lot of pickpockets. And there was one occasion where we just had to walk through a group of them. And I have all my cards, all my money, my passport stuffed into this thing. And it just folds right beneath your shirt above your waistline. And you just put your shirt over it so it's concealed. And it's also RFID blocked so no one can steal your identity from your cards or scan through the material. And it's very comfy, actually. I never had a problem with this thing. It was always just kind of, it's a little noticeable, but not too much. And it is by Eagle Creek, so go pick one of those up if you're going to any country abroad. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to be fitting into these are my little personal hygiene, along with the bottles that I got to fill up. And this, I just, this is an essential for me. Just a little first aid kit. And then along with that, once again, got it at the Army Supply Store. These are just little medical kits that has like anti-diarrheals, electrolyte tabs, antihistamines, um, anti-acids, ibuprofen, etc. And they're just in these travel little pockets, so it's really helpful. The next thing I have is this well-groomed kit. I just bought this actually for the trip because one of the things that I hate most about traveling, and there's not a lot of them, is how I don't feel clean whenever I go. My eyebrows will get all the whack. Um, I just, my skin gets all weird. And it really helps to have just a little kit that you can just fit into a front pocket or even your own pockets on you. So this thing has, you know, little cuticle clippers, tweezers, nail clippers, nail file, scissors. And it's just a really helpful thing to have. You never know when you're gonna need something like this. So of course I have all these little plastic bottles that I'm going to fill up with my shampoo, conditioner, um, probably just, I don't know, maybe a moisturizer or something, or lotion. And I'm just going to fill these all up with like three of the same thing. So, and these are of course are uh, TSA approved. So make sure you don't get big bottles of stuff, they, they won't allow it. Um, so these will be filled up. These will probably be for my contacts. And then the most important thing when traveling is to keep your stuff safe, which is why I suggest these locks. Locks have been a lifesaver for me. People will come behind you and try to unzip your backpack. I have had it happen to me. So ever since then, I've always carried a set of locks on my bag. These I just got from TJ Maxx for four bucks. Um, super, super, super essential, especially on the bag where remember we had that suitcase pocket that's what these are going to be locking so no one can unzip them and I'll have the keys in my little waste bag right here. Alright, and then of course can't forget all my camera equipment which I just bought this bag from Nikon and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It has all, both my cameras in here, it has my batteries, uh, my chargers, just stuff like that. And it's going to sling around my waist really easy while I'm carrying my backpack and simple. All right, guys, now that I've shown you everything, let's see how much we can fit into this bag and hopefully it all works out.
Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you really quick for watching this video, and if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below and like the video, and it would really mean a lot if you'd share this video as well, and stay fresh.